Previously, on Dug Dug, Doug set out to beat Skyrim with just one hit point, meaning that any damage he takes will kill him. And to make this even harder, every single death, Doug must do a randomly selected punishment. It was clear from the beginning that Doug would need a follower to pull this off. And so he found a wood elf named Fondle, and they fought together like brothers in Bleak Falls Barrow. Save my life! Vantral! Oh my god. But then, Fondle. His own sous chef murdered Doug. So he took Fondle to trial on the cliffs of Bleak Falls Barrow. Fondle was sentenced to death, and Doug murdered Fondle. Now, Doug has been summoned by the Greybeards on High Hrothgar and must venture to the dungeon of Ustengrav. But to pull this off, He's going to need a new follower. A follower who's bigger, stronger, someone who won't betray him like that butthole fondle. To pull this off, Doug needs Lydia. Where is, where is our bay? Is this her? What do you need, my thing? Look, I know some people here are upset about the death of Fondle, but all that matters is that we've got a new bay. One who's better, stronger, probably won't murder us. It's Lydia! She's perfect! Look at her face! It's beautiful! <laughs> it's beautiful! Man, the inside of her head. Look, she doesn't have a whole lot going on in the brain department, but that's okay. Come on, Lydia! What, they saw us? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Not good. Uh, okay, let Lydia take this one. Okay, got one. Did Lydia just die? Did she just one-shot two people? That was insane. Are you seriously gonna tell me that she is not better than Fondle right now? Lydia is a god! You're better than Fondle ever was or ever could be, Lydia. You're amazing. Come. God, she's perfect. All right. This is... Oh, no, no, no. Dude, the skeletons could 100% kill me. Should I just have Lydia go in? I should have Lydia go in. All right, check this out. This is how K-pop was meant to be played. First, I fucking... 360! Oh, and we did it! <laughs> Great job, Lydia. <laughs> well, that means it's time for the punishment wheel. I wasn't paying attention. All right, here's the punishment. Oh my God, it was almost to a TikTok dance. What is this, what does this one mean? What does this mean? Somebody suggested it and I just went along with it. Is this a thing? Does this mean anything? Oh, it's going everywhere. So thick, it smells very bad. Okay, let's play Skyrim. How do I get past this? Sprint in a straight line to the other side. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go wash out this hair bleach. I'm gonna let you guys play while I go take a shower. Have fun, everybody. Here, I'll aim you this way. Now, after this second death, Doug decided to let Twitch chat play Skyrim for a little bit while he went and washed the mayonnaise out of his hair. And while Twitch chat was frolicking around in the dungeon, something happened. That almost looked like Lydia killed Twitch chat. How'd you do? So we reviewed the footage. <laughs> <clears throat> what I'm getting from this is that Lydia murdered Twitch chat. Look at the evidence. What is she even swinging at? How do you even call that unintentional? What is she swinging at? Lydia murdered you! Oh, oh God! She's willing to just behead you for literally no discernible reason. I thought we could find a loyal follower, but no, Lydia has to murder. We might have to have a trial for Lydia.
But first, there was still more mayonnaise to clean up. There's mayonnaise on my clothes. It's on the bathroom sink. It's in the shower. It's on the toilet because the shirt fell off the sink. It's on the kitchen floor. I don't know how it got there. I must have tracked it from the paper towels. There's still some on the carpet there, there, and some behind my chair. There's mayonnaise everywhere. So give me like 30 more seconds. You guys finish this uh, life off and then uh, I'll, I'll jump back in. And then literally one minute later, the instant Doug had turned his back, Lydia murdered us again. Uh, did you do it? She did it again? Are you- Are you fucking kidding me? No way! Are you serious? The instant I leave again? There's no way. There's no fucking way. She knew that she was already being called into a trial. She knew that. Oh my god. She saw me coming back? Are you serious? She knew that was her last chance? You're telling me that right now, Lydia sees me with my head turned. Look at my head. The instant I turn my head, as I turn up, as I turn up to look, Lydia takes the killing blow. Are you kidding me? There's no enemy here. There's no enemy. Wait, she is blocking. Then what is she blocking from? If the enemies are to the left. Oh no, this just got a lot more interesting. Was she trying to protect you? Or is it a cover up? All we know is that we're gonna have to monitor her very, 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 very closely. Now, it was clear that Lydia would be put to trial for murder. But first, we, we need to clear this dungeon. Look, this time I will make sure Lydia has legal representation. But it's not looking that good for Lydia. That's all I'll say. What? Fuck, 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 I'm just bailing. Oh, okay. <sighs> For all you Lydia stands, one on the board. Oh, I'm at the end. And a brisk five hours later, we had beaten the dungeon of Ustengrav. Please, just don't die to something stupid. Don't die to like a bone or like a candle or something. Don't don't have Lydia kill me. She literally has a weapon. Put your weapon away. Please let me beat this dungeon. Yes! It took five hours. We beat the second dungeon of the game without taking damage. And it was beautiful. And with that said, let's go put our follower Lydia on trial for murder and probably kill her. Come on, you guys. Let's get that sappy shit out of here. We've got a Lydia to kill. The place to do it? Of course. High Hrothgar. Up on the cliffs of High Hrothgar, on Pride Rock itself, Lydia must answer for her crime. So let's look at some evidence. When Doug stopped looking, this happened. to the head. And then, when Doug was going to clean the mayonnaise off of his chair, this happened. Innocent Twitch chat, who've never committed a crime, die mysteriously. We will select three random lawyers who will present an argument on behalf of Lydia. Lydia's first lawyer. Half-baked animations. What do you have to say on Lydia's behalf? How do you justify her insidious actions today? She obviously was afraid of spiders and went a whale because of it. She must have slipped and swung too wide. It was all a misunderstanding. She meant to swing at the enemy. Sure, not bad. Andron, how do you explain this situation? Is Lydia guilty? She was tired of playing second fiddle to your adventures. She obviously is using the fact that there's an enemy nearby as a cover up. She was not cautious. However, we ran into the ax. Ladies and gentlemen, you've witnessed the evidence. You saw the body cam footage from Twitch chat. The final question, did Lydia commit murder? Punishable? by death. Fondle's fate for manslaughter hovered on the brink between 51 and 49%, but Lydia, with almost 500 votes, is faced officially 
with a murder conviction. You thought you could get away with it when Doug wasn't looking, when Doug was cleaning up his mayonnaise. But the people have decided, Lydia, and you are guilty. <sighs> she might be a witch, but she did fight alongside us. Will she end up in Sovngarde? That's not for us to know. All we know is her treachery ends today. Lydia, go back to Fondle. You can meet again in hell. Goodbye, witch. Go back to that hell spot that you crawled out of. Because in this town, we get justice for murder. Another day, another dungeon, another betrayal. Somebody in this land of Skyrim, someone is playing us like a fiddle. How deep does this go? We know that Fondle was a simp in Riverwood, but Lydia, Lydia was recommended and given to us by the Jarl. Was Lydia acting on her own? We don't know. How high does this go? It could go all the way up to the Jarl. Maybe it goes even higher than that. To the highest enemy of Skyrim. John Howard, we don't know! How deep does this shit go? When will we stop being murdered? When will it end? I think I speak for everyone when I say fuck. But right now, we only know one thing for certain. We need a new follower. Because next in the campaign is this dragon fight with Delphine, and there's no way we're beating this shit alone. We need to get a follower. So we went back to Whiterun to find a new follower. We gotta hire a person. Let's go to the inn. Be careful. You? I know nothing of fear. Looks like you've got some help already. I'll join you, but you'll have to let your comrade go. What do you say? Uh, but like when we tried to hire this new follower, she said we already had one. She said the dialogue that only happens if we still had a companion. Which means... Lydia's alive? There's no way. Fondle died and he fell like a tenth of how far Lydia fell. Lydia fell really, really, really far. She could have landed in the water. That is true. I mean, we could just look for her. And so the hunt began to find Lydia's body and see if she's still alive, because this is important if you want to beat Skyrim. So I shot her off the very top of that mountain, this direction. She could have landed like in Whiterun. But no matter how hard we looked, after almost a full hour, Lydia's body was nowhere to be found. So we went to the crypt in Whiterun to see if her remains were stored there, but we died and then had to get Sonic as a new follower who for some reason didn't care that Lydia was maybe alive. And then we went through the crypts with Sonic to look for Lydia, but Lydia's body was nowhere to be found. I mean, it's not in there. She doesn't have a casket. She didn't give me her will, so she's alive. So as a very, very last resort, just to get closure on this whole thing, we teleported Lydia's body right to us. <clears throat> okay, so the question is, is Lydia alive, right? What is the command to teleport her to me? Here we go. Is a Lydia live or dead? She just casually picks herself up? How is she alive? We shot her so far! Is she in contempt of court for not dying or did she just get off? What What is the protocol? Lydia had flagrantly disregarded her death sentence by staying alive. And in a situation like this, there's only one thing you can do. You've got to get a lawyer. And so I called an actual California lawyer, my old roommate, Jack. Hey, Douglas. What's hey, Jack. Going on? After Fondle's tragic demise, where he was legally convicted of manslaughter and sentenced to death, we found a new oh, fault. Be before you go too far on that one, I just want to bring something up. Yeah. You did not tell me that Fondle shot you in the back 
while you were murdering another man. <laughs> but that aside, continue. <laughs> Anyway, we went and found a new follower named Lydia. She ended up uh, murdering us again, and we, we ran through a full trial. Lydia was uh, righteously sentenced to death as well, and justice was served specifically by taking her to the very top of High Hrothgar and hurling her thousands of feet out into the air and watching her body plummet violently into the ground below. And then today, we realized that the courier, who normally would give you her will if Lydia was dead, had not delivered the will to us. And so, after searching for Lydia's body for a long time, we eventually used European witch magic to teleport her to me and discovered that she is, in fact, alive. Lydia is alive. Okay, well, that's uh, quite the story, Douglas. So, our question is, what is the legal precedent if someone is sentenced to death for murder, but the death penalty is not applied correctly and they do not die. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not positive on this one, but I'm gonna have to say it is most likely that she has got to die again. I mean, you think about California, we do the uh, lethal injection for our capital punishment. And a lot of times what ends up happening is, you know, the, it's it's basically two doses, one of which is kind of used as a uh, muscle relaxant. Yeah. Um, and it's supposed to kind of dull the, uh, the pain that comes from the second one, which is what actually kills you and causes you to stop breathing. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's, you know, y you might think that justice was meted out. It, it clearly wasn't. So what I'm hearing here, me throwing Lydia off of a cliff was simply to stun her so that she was not in as much pain when I then killed her afterwards. I mean, I thought it made it pretty apparent from my analogy that that is exactly what is the case here, right? Yeah. Okay. This is very helpful. I just wanted to make sure we had all the legal bases covered. Yeah, I think you're good to go. Okay. Thanks, Jack. Will you just bill me, let's say, for an hour? Sure. All right. Sounds good. She's stunned. One shot has been injected, but Lydia still has another one coming. How do we deliver the second dose? I think trial by combat. Just like how the California death penalty was meant to be played. I will prepare the lethal injection. This is it. You cannot say that Lydia hasn't played this perfectly. Hasn't played us like a damn fiddle this entire stream. I don't know much. I'm not a good Skyrim player. I'm not good at killing the dragon and saving the world. But I know one thing. If someone is sentenced to death here in California, they serve that sentence. Starting right now with that treacherous son of a bitch, Lydia. Sonic burning the witch, Sonic doing the deed, and Sonic has delivered justice! Lydia is dead! California! Long! Sonic, you did it! You're literally covered in her blood! Dying in the very position she survived that mountain fall from, I think it's safe to say that after five and a half hours of a very intense, productive Skyrim streaming, we've done all we can for today. That's how you play Skyrim. Um, <clears throat> and and just to to recap for everybody today, uh, all we did is walk from here to here. 